Hi guys and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Now, as you might have seen from my unboxing videos, I recently got the Bulova Devil Diver and this is the vintage one, the 1970s. In that video you could have seen that the crystal was in pretty bad shape. Nothing is cracked but there are a lot of these scratches. And although I already am looking for a new crystal, new gasket and even the bezel spring, these are very hard to come by. Because of that I decided to try and polish out this because this is an acrylic crystal to try to get it into better shape. At least until I find a, a new old stock one that's gonna replace this one. Now to polish you usually would use sandpaper from grid 6, 600 all the way to 1200 and even more as a first step. So I have the 600 and the 1200 and then you would finish it off with poly watch or any kind of polishing paste. This one is for the metal. But it says on the on the user manual that it can be used for hard plastics as well, which is what acrylic is. Now because a lot of these scratches are very uh, I mean they, they can be felt under my fingernails except these ones here i'm first gonna try to use just this and then if it removes this as well it's gonna be okay if not then i'm gonna move with the sandpaper and doing it with the sandpaper can be a bit of a hard stopper because you pretty much ruin the crystal it becomes all foggy and you can't see through it and then as you move to higher number grits uh, you get it clearer and clearer and then finally with the polishing you get it crystal clear to see through it. But like I said, I'm gonna try to skip this step for now and just try to do it like this. Now to use it, to use the polishing, you just use a clean cloth that I'm gonna apply the polishing paste to and then just gonna rub the, the watch like this. But before I do that, I will have to remove the bezel because I don't wanna scratch this beautiful backlight bezel because these are very hard to find in good condition and this one is in a very very good condition as you can see now we'll just take a look at the crystal now since we're outside a lot of these scratches don't get as noticed because there's a lot of light but once you're under artificial light trust me this is very very scratched up i don't know if you can pick them up but i'll put some before and after pictures or video i mean video shots when we complete this Anyways, let's move on with the removal of the of the bezel. So I'm just gonna use this case back opener and the bezel pops pretty easily. And I even made my own spring or bezel click from an old Vostok Amphibia uh, bezel retaining ring. As you can see, I made a little curvature and it actually clicks when you turn it. So we're just gonna remove that. And this is it this is the watch with the bezel removed and now you can see just how big that crystal is now we can apply the polishing without touching anything because the case is pretty far away so now i'm just going to apply the polishing uh, the polishing paste to the cloth and we're going to proceed with polishing the crystal so we're just going to apply some of it here And this is a fine, it says it's fine. There's a coarse one and a fine one. And this is supposedly a fine one. Now I've never done this before, so don't blame me if I mess things up or if I'm not doing it correctly for the first time. But like I said, Okay, so after only a couple of minutes of applying this, I mean the paste with this cloth, I've managed to remove the biggest scratches that I was most concerned of, the ones that actually caught my fingernail. So I'm just gonna continue using this, or actually I chose this cloth because it has smaller, smaller hairs, so it doesn't go uh, touching the case. And I'm just gonna keep applying it to the rest of the crystal. But I'm actually amazed at how easily these were removed. Now they're not perfectly removed, but if I continue doing it, I'm sure I'll be able to remove them as well. So I'll see you in a couple of minutes after I apply it with this cloth to the rest of the crystal. 
but so far I'm very very satisfied with the result because I won't have to be using the grid paper grid paper which is a bit of a hard stopper like I said and I wasn't really sure about using it well after about five to ten minutes of buffing out and polishing I have to admit I'm amazed by the results it's truly amazed I'll be doing some macro shots my, I mean, I did discover some irregularities under the crystal, like specks of dust and everything, but all the scratches are gone and the crystal looks just amazing. I didn't want to continue because I'm afraid of cracking the crystal since it is 50 years old, but I'm more than happy with the results. Like I said, I'll put some of these detailed shots so you can see uh, just how well this little, this regular metal polish did the job combined with a couple of microfiber rags so if you do have a vintage watch with an acrylic crystal don't be afraid to use this kind of stuff to try to buff out the the, the scratches it really does work 